I used to feel a bit resentful that our culture and maybe the world as a whole feels like it's tailor-made for extroverts from schools to workplaces to everyday gatherings it seems as though extroverted tendencies take priority over any mentality of reclusiveness or just wanting to be reserved in our disposition so this got me wondering i could either keep feeling resentful about this or i could choose to focus on my weakness and make it my strength. A strength that would complement the strengths that I already have as an introvert. Strengths such as being mindful, being thoughtful, being deliberate, being intentional. And I could buttress all of these advantages with the ability to socialize, to make other people feel at ease in my presence. I started to think of ways an introvert could reduce some of that friction when it comes to putting myself out there and socializing. One of these ways that I've found most helpful is by simply taking jobs that require a lot of interaction. I wanted to do a voiceover and caveat this suggestion by saying that this really does require a lot of thinking, right? It's hard enough figuring out what we want to do for a living, let alone putting ourselves in a stressful situation that puts us really out of our comfort zone. That being said, I don't think the key is to hide ourselves away in some job that never lets us see the light of day just so we can maintain our introverted tendencies. I think the key here is really balance more than anything else. And the reason why I felt like this suggestion is very important is because it makes it inevitable. Certain things we would simply not do unless we almost force ourselves to do it. And I think a job is a great way to make learning social skills inevitable, even if that's just temporary. So back to the video. While this might seem a bit too stressful for some, I think it's such a great way to build that consistency that it takes to learn those skills because these really are skills. They're not things that anybody is born with. Some people might have more of a disposition to them than others as far as social skills go. But for the most part, we're all learning these things and extroverts just happen to have developed these over the course of their lives, being the extroverted personalities that they are. We can try to tailor it as best as we can. Sometimes I find that simply by being conscious and intentional about what we are looking for allows us that flexibility to find the perfect niches that might benefit us. Another way that I've found that can help reduce some of that friction is by simply having everyday interactions with people that we see out and about. And while this might seem trivial, I think it's such a great way to hone in on our small talk skills. By doing this, we end up meeting very interesting people and we end up learning a lot more about ourselves than we otherwise might have just interacting with our small clique of friends or people who we're usually surrounded by. Lastly, along the same lines, another great way to increase our social skills is by finding hobbies that we enjoy but have a social element to them. For me, that has come to be dancing. Another quick voiceover, dancing has the extra benefit of helping us to get out of our heads in an environment that feels comfortable and safe. It might feel threatening to dance in public, but once you expose yourself to people who are doing the same thing and realize that nobody is looking at you or cares, you start to get more comfortable with doing that act. And by reducing our social anxiety with such an activity, we notice that lesser demanding activities such as having a conversation are that much easier. It's a perfect mix of strangers and regulars that offers me that comfort to be able to socialize when I want to and sometimes even how I want to. I can choose not to have a conversation. I can choose to just focus on the dance or I can choose to try to be more, um, more conversational you know, obviously dependent on the tolerance of whoever it is that I'm dancing with. But such hobbies offer a great way to socialize and meet new people without that pressure of having to constantly keep a conversation going. And we can do this while continuously incrementally building our social skills in a way that does not overwhelm us. Remember, at the end of the day, it just comes down to practice like any other skill. 
Practice doesn't mean throwing ourselves off the deep end on the first try and overwhelming ourselves to the point where we might not even attempt it again. It simply means progressing from maybe even the ledge of the pool in this metaphor and slowly working our way towards the deep end in increments that we might not even realize just by exposing ourselves to such situations. And these are very useful skills to learn in this world that, in my opinion, does not really understand what it means to be an introvert. Introverts are usually looked at as being lonely and depressed, whereas in reality, we might be just as happy as the other extrovert who is bubbly and trying to cheer everybody up. And in fact, that might be a facade, right? That might be them trying to hide their own insecurities, but that is all hidden behind the veil of that confidence and you know, extroversion. I hope you found something in this video that can help you in your journey towards becoming more socially intelligent and being able to communicate in all kinds of settings and with all kinds of people. Thank you for watching.